going on folks Clayton Youngberg here from AndroidAuthority.com your number one source for all things Android and today what I would like to do is review an app called the Dash Clock application now this app is actually a lock screen widget so you're not going to be able to display it on your normal home screen and you're going to need Android 4.2 to run it because no other uh, version of Android has lock screen widgets enabled Anyways, guys, if you don't have a Nexus device running the latest version of Android, you're going to need a device such as the Samsung Galaxy S3 or any device, really, that has custom ROMs uh, available for Android 4.2. I'm personally running the vanilla Rootbox ROM, and I'm going to show you guys how to set this app up on my phone, give you the full rundown, and by the time this video is over, you're going to be pros. It's not that hard, so stay tuned, guys. Okay, hey everyone, so if you're running Android 4.2, head over to the Play Store and download the Dash Clock app. That's all you'll need to do at this point. Next, you'll go to your lock screen here, and you're going to want to go to one of your customizable windows here, or your customizable uh, lock screen panes. And you're going to click the plus like you normally would to add a lock screen widget, and you're simply going to click the Dash Clock application. Now once we actually open up the Dash Clock application, you can see all of our different options we have to display on the lock screen. We can display our weather, Gmail unread count, calendar appointments, missed calls, text messages, and alarms. So you can see we can't add any other extensions, but we can remove them. We can also change their order and how they are uh, displayed on the actual widget. So you can see we do have two settings, both for our weather and our Gmail unread count. Clicking these will review our different uh, inbox and our different uh, particular uh, email addresses that we can check for. And on the weather, we have our location settings and our uh, temperature settings. Then we can also choose the appearance of our lock screen widget. As you can see, we can swipe for different styles of time and date. Both very cool. I will just choose this configuration for now, and we can click Done. Now on our lock screen, you can see we do have our brand new widget, and we can simply drag down for all of our updates. I have no new SMS or Gmail uh, emails at this point, so they're not showing up, but they would in this uh, little level right here. So you can see we do have our next alarm present, and we have our settings slider to access the settings easily. Very cool stuff. So one more time, guys, we'll go ahead and go to our lock screen. You can see our beautiful uh, dash clock widget right here. Looks awesome. And then at the click of our finger, we can expand our notifications and actually uh, unlock our device. So there you have it, guys. Awesome app from a Google developer for your Android 4.2 device. So if you have a device running Android 4.2, you can get this. Impress all your friends. Have a hot new app that not too many people do because the Android 4.2 operating system is still in its early days as far as device implementation. But that's another discussion for another day. Today, we want you to try this app out if you've got Andy 4.2 and tell us what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like it, guys, or uh, if you have any other opinion whatsoever, let us know. This is Clayton Youngberg with AndroidAuthority.com, and have a great day.